So my name is uh, Stéphane Wessel, I'm the CEO of uh, Tixel. I've been uh, CEO of Tixel for two years now. And uh, Tixel is a cellular immunotherapy company that is uh, genetically modifying uh, regulatory T cells or uh, T-Rex cells to fight uh, autoimmunity, uh, inflammatory disorders, as well as uh, transplantation related disorders. Basically, we've uh, communicated in a, in a congress on uh, organ transplantation uh, back in September, some additional proof of concept with our uh, lead program, which is uh, targeting HLA2, uh, a common mismatch antigen in transplantation. And that uh, additional proof of concept uh, was obtained with uh, uh, what we expect to be the clinical candidate. So that was an important milestone for us as it kind of confirmed uh, that we are uh, in line uh, to reach the objective of uh, starting clinical development with that lead program sometimes uh, in the end of uh, next year, in 2018. We, we don't expect uh, a lot of challenges, for example, on the manufacturing side because uh, we've built, uh, so we think, uh, a very robust manufacturing process. Uh, having said that, uh, um, this is the first time uh, ever and anywhere in the world that this kind of technology, i.e. a car T-Reg, so an engineered T-Reg, uh, will be tested in human. Uh, so uh, we expect that the regulators will be, of course, looking at what we do uh, with a lot of attention. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are going to test this technology for the first time in human in a very serious condition with uh, what we believe, again, is a robust uh, you know, manufacturing process. And so we don't expect a lot of uh, challenges. It's just a race against time uh, as we want to uh, uh, reach that objective uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in a timely manner. We've made the choice uh, probably because we, don't, we didn't have a lot of resources to focus on what we knew best, which is science, uh, 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 instead of doing manufacturing. And so we've decided to outsource uh, um, everything which has to do uh, with manufacturing per se. Uh, what is important for us is to control uh, and monitor the development of the manufacturing process. But once the manufacturing process, uh, which is proprietary, which is protected by, let's say, trade secret and, and some patent, if possible, is uh, ready to go into manufacturing, uh, we go and look for a CMO as we see manufacturing more like a commodity. It's not adding a lot of value. Uh, to us and it's, uh, it's a lot of money to be involved in manufacturing. So again, we've made the choices of focusing on what we know uh, best and what will create more value for us and this is science, not manufacturing. We expect to, uh, to reach that objective of uh, starting clinical development at the end of 2018. We first have to transfer the technology to a CMO, a contract manufacturing organization. And so we are right in the process of selecting the CMO. And it should be announced within the next few weeks, uh, or definitely before the end of the year. And then we need to transfer the technology to that CMO. It will take a few months. Uh, then we need to file an IND, uh, so that will happen in the second part of 2018. And then we'll take it from here. Uh, ultimately, the goal is to have the first uh, human data, sometimes in 2020.